Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm the Obscure Angel PT and for today what I have in here it is Onimusha World War. So this is a very ancient game, it was initially developed and it's still developed by Capcom with their in-house engine, very similar to Resident Evil 1, 2 and 3 and it was uh, released in 2001 but now it is ported to the PC and yeah, it's mostly a port, not a remaster or a remake, I'm running with 1440p since it's the highest resolution I can go with. And this is the requirements that you can find on Steam for playing this game when they are actually asking for an X7 260X, 4 gigs of RAM and an E3 CPU and DirectX 12. For me, this is a bunch of bullshit. The game it is using DirectX 11, I'm not really saying that you really need to have DirectX 11 in order to play this game, but what I want to say is that this game doesn't really require an X7 to 260X because I believe this game can run in pretty much a potato. I believe this game can run in an Intel integrated graphic card without any issues whatsoever because this game it is hardly using any GPU. So I'm running in here with 1440p and receiving notifications from my drivers right now. But anyway, I'm just using like 20% of the GPU. So yeah, there is still 80% of GPU to be utilized and still it isn't being utilized. Probably I could play with 4K and the graphic card would still be at 50% or 40% waiting for more work to be done uh, because this game it is actually very lightweight because it is a port. The maximum frame rate you can go with this game it is 60 frames per second, it is locked to 60 for me, it is uh, it is okay but probably for owners of uh, you know more recent and high refresh rate screens uh, you might find this to be a problem but for me 60 fps cap it is fine in this type of games of course so in case you are interested in buying onimusha world wars you can get this game from steam at around 20 bucks i'm not saying that this is a very good price i would probably uh, put it at 15 maybe it could be probably a better price but still 20 bucks it's not too bad of a too bad price but still the game it's very old it's a port it is not a remaster by any means it's not a remake but i don't know i don't know i think that even 20 it's still a little bit too much in case you want to get it cheaper you can get through king win for around 16 uh, 16 euros or something but i think the difference doesn't worth the, the troubles you can get with with gray markets so for now i think steam it's still the best option for this game all right so the game it is uh, kind of an icon slash a little bit like devil may cry but with uh, you know with uh, static cameras just like resident evil that's why i'm saying that this looks very similar to resident evil 1 2 and 3 it is also developed by capcom the engine seems to be more or less the same as the resident evil 1 2 or 3 and well the gameplay seems pretty much like i said like devil may cry you have a um, an arm with uh, special powers that can absorb souls and you know it's really looking like Devil May Cry for Nero so I think it's really fine I'm just trying to understand a little bit how this game plays because this is the first time I'm playing on these sequences so guys I think that's all for now that I want to talk about on Musha. hope you keep enjoying the rest of the video you won't be long and I do hope to see you soon goodbye